Welcome to another video today, we take a look at High Stakes. This game was made for the a game by its cover gem, we already played 1145 A Vivid Life from the same gem. This game is completely different though, but I still thought I should bring it up. I do want to continue actually, but I can't continue, so maybe I have to reset card, okay. Let's do it like this. This game is a card game, where we are... Eh? Where we are a guy who can't figure out how to play. Uh, no, not actually, that's not... Eh? Uh... Okay, so anyway, the game is about... How do I start this thing? The game is about a guy in Las Vegas, and all his blood was stolen by vampires, and now he has to play a card game to win it all back. And he's about to do that once I let him play... How do I... How do I start this thing? Um... Ah, with X. Okay, X. An average human body contains about 5,000 5, milliliters of blood. We could also say 5 liters. <laughs> and now they're gone. Oh no, where did all the blood go? <laughs> Don't take it too hard. You were living on borrowed time anyway. Here, the last shot is on me. It will take the edge off. Or maybe you can win it all back. How about it? One last game. So, we would play against Bafu. I don't bite. Payout times one. So, how it works is we have these cards. And is it mouse controlled? No, it's controlled with the arrow keys. Okay, so we have these cards. And each card has a value from ranging from two to nine. But one is a vampire card. If we flip that one over, we lose. And we somehow, somehow we have our stakes, which is how much blood or money, I guess you could say, we get paid out. The more cards we flip, the higher the stakes are. And once we win by not flipping over the vampire card, or if we know where it is, we can stab it with this thing. That's why high stakes, haha. <laughs> um, then we win all the stakes we had built up. So it's pretty simple. We also have some tokens. So this token says that this card will have a value of 3 or more and the problem is that a vampire card counts as 10. So uh, we have an 8 already over there. Uh, I've never played before by the way so what's that? Flip all cards in this column face up to unlock this hint token. Oh, yeah, we have some hint tokens. Unlock this. Hint. Yes those, those are the hint tokens. Like there's also there are also other hint tokens and well I guess we should start flipping those cards over because um, then we unlock this hint token. Was that a bad idea? Should I try this card? Because I have a low chance of it being the vampire card. Ah, let's just try. F let's try flipping those over. Okay, our stakes are at two milliliters. We have a fin. We have a hint token. Okay, place on a face up card compares the values of adjacent up face down face down cards. Yeah, um, and it tells me if it's lower or higher. Uh, I'm not sure if that's too useful at the moment. Maybe I should risk flipping that one as well. That actually was a 2. Uh, so now if I use that token over here. So that one has a lower value, no, a higher value. They all have a higher value. Well, it was expected because uh, that was totally w wasted. They said there were no. 2 was the lowest thing and no, there's never a copy of a card twice. Okay, I wasted that one. Fine, fine. We're doing good. Okay, place card. Place on a face down card. Card value is equal or higher than token number. Uh. Ah, okay, so that's this thing again. Uh. I don't know where the vampire card is. I don't know where the vampire card is. Oops. Didn't want to. Didn't mean to place it there. Uh. Didn't mean to flip the card. Where is the stake gone? Why? Why is the stake gone? Face down car compares values. Uh, why is the stake gone? Can someone explain that to me? Uh, by the way, which one we're missing? We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing the nine and the ten. Yeah, great. How am I going to do it? Yeah, fine. Um, which I how am I how am I going to win now? Uh, it's just luck. I mean, it's been luck the whole time, but. And I'm not quite sure how to use these tokens, by the way. I just placed them accidentally. Well, let's just hope this one isn't the vampire. We were lucky! Nice! We win! Good, good. And we win 
10 milliliters. This is going to take some time. Okay. Uh, when we win five rounds, we win the whole match. And when we win, we unlock new opponents. Uh, so what do we do now? Maybe flip over that card? Um, when the chances are good that it's not the vampire card? It was a three. Okay. You think it's a vampire bonus, Millie, if you get it right? Wait. Uh, wait. What if I don't get it right? I Do I lose something? I certainly would lose something if I don't get it right. Huh? I mean, otherwise it would be... Okay, what's that? Place on a face down card. Card value is equal to or higher than token. Yes. Um, mm, let's place that there. Do I have to be quick? Because it's sometimes it's, it's it's like this shaking. And why did you flip it over automatically? I don't I don't quite understand yet how to use them. Oh, the eight. Okay, so maybe hopefully this is not the vampire. We were lucky. We were lucky. Okay. So the two and the four are still in the game. Place on a face down card. So if I just click, and now I move the thing. Okay, I thought I have to hold down X. That was the problem there. Um, equal or higher than the token numbers. Uh, well, does that really help me? Not exactly, does it? Uh, it does, because now I know that this is the vampire card. Haha. -ha. Boom. Ha ha. -ah. Nice, but I thought they said that the stakes are raised. The more cards I flip, but the bonus on this, on this, on this uh, stake stabbing thing just decreased. The more cards I flipped over, so not quite sure. But this is a neat little game. It's, it's kind of fun, and it's an interesting idea. And I'm just talking so much now because I'm trying to cover up the fact that I don't know what to do at the moment. Um, we have a pretty good chance that this is not the vampire. We were lucky. Um, let's try maybe this one. The eight. Okay, we've got a, we've got quite a chance that this is the vampire now. Could be seven, nine, one third. We got a chance of a one of one third. That this is the vampire already. Uh, Place on a face up card. Compares. Uh, let's put that maybe um, here. Ah, uh, that's greater. That's greater than that. I should have put it on the eight, perhaps. Maybe I should have put it on the eight. Because then, by the way, this could only be a seven or a nine or a vampire. Uh, so both of these squares have a chance of one third to be the vampire. Uh, I think we're getting pretty close here. Um, what if I stepped? What if I just stepped that card and without being sure that it is the vampire? But also, if these two cards have a ch already a chance of one third that's, that they are the vampire. Uh, then we have a chance of two-thirds that the vampire is in either of these two cards, right? And that means that we've got a pretty good chance that the vampire is not in any of these other cards, right? Yeah, it seems to have worked on a face-down card. Card value is equal or higher than token number. Okay, so where is it most useful? Maybe here? Plus six. So all these three could be the vampire. All these three could be the vampire. Uh, so this could only be... Wait, we already have the six and the eight. So again, one third. So technically, the, I don't know, the vampire is in one of these three. I'm afraid to turn them over. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's that one. Not the vampire. That one was not the vampire. Good, 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 good. That was not the vampire. So now, which one is it? equal chances on all of them if I flipped over this one I would get another token but it wouldn't really help me because that's the token that gives me uh, that just tells me if it has a higher value than uh, well maybe that would help me over here because if that's the seven okay we have to flip this one. what if I just stabbed a thing do I lose if it's wrong because I'm pretty sure it's up here no oh well Okay, then I lose. Well, I would have lost anyway because I was going to flip over the central card. Okay, uh, continue. Round lost. Alright, and if we lose, they subtract our stakes from our winnings. So, we might not want to lose. Uh, big reveal. It's dangerous to... To flip... Uh, to, to lose. Um, 
50-50 chance that this is the vampire, but if I get it wrong, I have minus one milliliter and... Oh no, I have... I would have 11 milliliters. Okay, so pretty good chance that this is the vampire. Um, but we can't tell for sure yet, so I want to be sure. I do want to be sure. So what's that? Uh, face down card, card value is equal or higher. Um, let's put that maybe... Here. Yeah. Um, so that columns over there, those are the high rollers over here, so maybe over here it's a bit, we take it, we take it a little easier. Ah, oh, seriously! Ah, oh. okay, that was the vampire. I feel like this game is a lot about luck, which would make sense, because high stakes and Las Vegas, um, I'm not sure if there's so much strategy involved, which would be okay, I mean... Why not have a game based on luck? A lot of games have luck as a large element. Uh, there was hoping for something with a bit more strategy, so this is quite a surprise. Uh, but whatever. Who wants to care? Who wants to hear whether I'm surprised or not? You all just want to hear which card I'm going to click, and I don't know which one it is. Um, I'm going to try. Maybe, maybe I'm going to try this one. Okay, that was a five. Yeah, maybe let me try this one. So we get the token. Okay. Place on the face down card. Card value is equal. I know I have to keep reading them. Um, I just keep forgetting what they are. Okay. <clears throat> we might not want to go up there. We might not want to try the cards up there. Um, what's that one? Oh, seriously! Ah! <sighs> what would be the best strategy? I mean... <sighs> I, I was trying to get the left column so I would get another token. Though how would the token have helped me? Man. Oh, we lost already. No, we won three milliliters. Great. Uh, was that enough to unlock the other guy? Nope. Uh-huh. Okay, be oh, because the buy-in would be 50 milliliters. I get it. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Fine, fine. We have to try again then. We have to try again. I will not let myself get defeated by a vampire. So... <clears throat> um, should we risk flipping over this one? Okay, now... I think the... I think the strategy is... Oh, we actually get negative? Oh, come on. I think the strategy should be to just... Um, to just flip over a column that you kind of feel is not too risky and then work strategically with the tokens. Though I'm not sure how strategically you can work there. Uh, it seems very, very limited in terms of strategy. So face down card, card value is equal. Mm. If we get another nine. Okay, so that's probably not, not the vampire. Okay, the eight, the eight, okay. Let's place that one over here. Five, so that's probably not the vampire again, I don't know. But now, now we're gonna have to make a choice eventually though. We're gonna have to make a choice now, which one do we risk? This could be the vampire, or it's a nine. It could all be the vampire. If I risk this one, maybe I could get the token to be re-rolled. If I place it again, let's try that. Hopefully, this isn't the vampire now. Okay, I could, so I could try the token again. So if I put it on the nine again, if it actually is a nine, there would be a fifty percent chance that it shows an eight plus. No, no it will always show a nine, even whether it's the nine or the vampire. The only option would be if this is the nine. But wait, no. Huh? Wait, which card? Which number am I missing anyway? I'm missing the the nine of the vampire. Great. So even if I clicked on one of the tokens again, I would have no way of knowing which one it is. Can't even click on them again. Okay, uh, it's just 50-50 uh, chance now. Where do we have the better chance? Doesn't really matter. But wait, it's seven or higher. Yeah, or higher. It could be. It could be anything. Uh, but wait, if I, like, it would be nice if I could re-roll the token, because if that was, if that turned into a 9 or higher, I would, no, no, none of this makes sense, Forget, never mind what I'm talking about. <sighs> well, let's just hope we get lucky. We did get lucky. 
Nice. Good. Good, good, good. Good. So now we have plus seven milliliters. That's good. That's good. That's good. Those are our winnings. Good, good, good. Uh, again, very suspicious over there. Seriously? Seriously? Ah, oh, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Still not sure if there's any strategy to play with or if you just have to get lucky. I don't know. The nine. We have the nine. Good, good. Let's hope. Let's hope. Why? Ah, let's hope we get somewhere else to say nine plus was what I was going to say. Are there maybe like other high cards usually in in the same column? Because the nine, I feel like, is often in the same column as the vampire. Mm, now let's try this one. That wasn't too dangerous. And so now we should try this one to get the token. Okay. Now let's put the token maybe here. Okay, that's that seems to be a high high those those are high cards. Uh, so what what do we do? What do we do? Should we try to get this column down here to get? Um, should we try to get this because it's not not that risky? Maybe let's try to get this one. Okay, did it good. Now we could place that. We could only place it here. Uh, and by the way, they said there was a third kind of token, but I haven't got that yet. So. Uh, I just realized, I just remember, I almost forgot about that, you can pass around. I don't know what that means. Uh, so that card has a higher value. Uh, so again, it could be 7, 9, or the vampire. What what happens if I pass? I, I lose 2 milliliters. Well, if I screwed up, I would lose... Um, and it's it comes down to luck now, doesn't it? Even if I unlock a whole column... It would come down to luck again. Should we risk it? If I just pass, I lose two milliliters, then I would have zero. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. We can't do it. Mm-hmm. Well, now we have minus four. Great, uh, great, good, uh, fine. Okay, we, we can do this though, we, we're going to win eventually, aren't we? Um... I was sure I would always lose two milliliters. What if I just try to stab it now? I would have a 50-50 chance of getting it right and winning one milliliter? No, winning 13 milliliters. Yeah, I won. Nice. There we go. 16. We won 16. I'm not sure how that works, but hey, it worked. Maybe I think that's I think that's actually a good idea. Always. Now that's suspicious. Again, 50-50 chance of being the vampire. The vampire. So if I just stabbed it again, uh, then again I would have a pretty good chance of winning. Uh, so what are my odds? Uh, so I would probably again win 60 milliliters, so or lose 60 milliliters. So, uh, well, if I lose the same thing, then and it's a 50-50 chance that I get it right. I might as well take it. But how good are my chances that this happens two times in a row? Ah, let's try it out! No! We lost. And are we going to lose 60 milliliters? Are we back to zero? Nope! We actually made a profit there. Okay. Not sure why that worked, but it worked. And that's all that matters. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. So now let's play a little normally. Okay, that, now that one is looking very suspicious. Very suspicious. Very, very... Okay, that's the one. Ha ah, nice. Would it have been better to f keep flipping over cards or stab them straight away? I'm not sure which one gets me more points. This got me 40 milliliters now. What if I had flipped over all the other cards? Would that have gotten me any any different results? I don't know. Um. Yeah, again, good chance that this is the vampire. Should we just try to stab it? I think we should. Okay, but I would have flipped over that card if I'd kept playing, so uh, that wasn't too bad. Again, 40 milliliters last turn. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's keep going. Let's try to flip over that one and that one. Okay, now let's use this token wisely. Let's use it here. 8 plus. Very good chance there's the vampire. Again, very good chance. Um, but we can't risk it right now. 
Please don't let it be this card. <laughs> okay. Well, now we're getting really close. So now, um, where do we place it? Where do we place it? So this one up there, 50, 50 chance of the vampire. Uh, the problem is if, 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 if I now get another card that says 8 plus as well, I still don't know. Um, but if I get a 9 plus, I would know it. 6 plus. Ah, do we risk it? Do we risk it? Or should we just stab that thing? I don't know. I have to risk it. <laughs> that means this is the vampire. Because it can't be an 8 anymore. Boom! Ha -ha. Okay, now I think I'm getting the hang of this thing, or I'm just getting lucky, and that's because I why I keep winning, but I keep winning, and I like that. How about a final bonus round? Double winnings or nothing. So right now my winnings would be not so good. Uh, yeah, come on, let's do it. I mean, 13 is not, a, it's not that much. Double winnings or nothing. No stake. And no skip. Okay, we have to play it now. We have to play it now. Alright, here we go. Which one do we use? Which one do you use? Flip this. Let me flip this. Okay. Now we try to place that somewhere. Uh, maybe place it there. Three or higher. We already have the three, but it could be anything higher. Five, okay. Let's try this one. No! 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 All our winnings are gone. No! Oh, man, this is going to take a while. I've, I, I lost them all again. I lost all the winnings again. Uh, but hey, I started. Then I, I said that I was starting to get the hang of it, so maybe I can win this type. Why? That was just luck. Now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to win this at least once. At least once, please, please. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. This is, this has to be my last attempt, though. Does the game not like me? Three times in a row, the first card. What have I done? Why? Why is the game? Why is the game doing this? Okay, the eight. Okay, now let's see. Well, we know that this up there is a five. Oh, okay, let's use it over here. And they're both lower in value, so we can safely flip over those two cards. Very good, very good indeed, very good indeed. Now let's use our marker uh, over here. Eight or more. Okay, that one's looking suspicious. Mm. Should we straight up stab it, or should we try to flip over the top column first to get something else? But nope. Even if we got that thing, it wouldn't help us. We'd still have to figure out which one of these it is. And no, that wouldn't really help us. That wouldn't help us. Um, well, maybe I should just have to risk it. I just have to risk it. And I win! Good! Actually worked! Good! Good! Very good! Very good! Very good! Now we have 5 plus, okay? Maybe we can round 5. Okay, if we make this one, we go out with some winnings, and that's probably all I can get. At least some winnings. Um, now, should we try to flip over this column? Column. Damn you! Okay, okay, well. Three plus, three plus, three plus. Our winnings were three. Yep, we had win winnings of three. Right, so we didn't lose everything. I kind of want to keep playing because gambling is addicting. This game is actually pretty cool. It's a neat idea. It's very much based on luck, not so much on strategy, but if that's the kind of game you're looking for, this certainly is a recommendation for you. If you hate vampires as much as I do, please give this video a like and share it with all the gamblers you know. If you want to be the first to know when we try to take back our blood again, you should subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.